So I just wanted to touch base with y'all. We just had our voice camp, Redeem Your Voice Camp, and just so many emotions going on. But I just wanted to encourage you with the fact and the fact and the faith of who you are. You know, when you face things that just do not make sense to you, when you face things that like you get up in, in the morning and you feel like this nightmare is not ending, whether it's in the world, whether it's what's going on with the politics or it's in your own personal life, I want to remind you of who you are in him and whose you are. When you think of the fact that you are in the very hand of God, that there is hope for you. You know, I've been listening to this song by Dante Bowen called The Voice of God. Check that out. Check that out on, um, on Spotify or, I guess, iTunes. But the vo- the, that song has moved me so greatly in the last few months of realizing you can hear the voice of God all around you. You think, I can't hear his voice. You can't. Can I just reiterate? You can hear the voice of God. He may be speaking to you through the word of God, speaking to you by the Holy Spirit. I just want to encourage you during these days that we're living to fix your eyes and your hope on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of your faith. I want to encourage you as you go through what you're seeing and feeling that you will not forget to rise up with your declarations powered by the Holy Spirit, declarations based on the promises of the one who keeps all his promises, your declarations from a place of victory, the victory once and for all on the cross, Jesus Christ secured it for you and me, and that we could be like Sarah, who embraced God's miracle power, part of the rest to run, or like Abraham. I love this quote about Abraham in Romans 4. I don't know if I can get to it. Romans 4 I shared it a little bit ago, but I just need to, I just want you to hear this, but I can't get to it. So about how, how against everything, against everything he saw, what did, what did Moses do? He continued to embrace the miracle word of God. God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. I think what happened is a change, is a change that you and I can do. We don't have to have our name changed. We can shift our belief system and we can believe what God says or believe what the world is saying. You know, I, I'll be honest, I got a little off course. Um, I rose up with my voice and reactivated my Twitter uh, account because I just I knew there's one thing I'm not going to be silent. I didn't go into the, you know, the, uh, the angst, but continually pointing to the hope of God, the hope we have in him. And I think now... I'm, this is what I'm going to challenge you. Now, I want you to ask God. I want you to ask God right now, what is your place? What is your position? Are you going to be a part of the clatter, clatter and the clanging? Or are you going to be a part of setting yourself aside and really speaking from your identity, really speaking from that place where you know who you are and you know whose you are? Can I give you one tip to do that? One one place where you can reassure yourself, reassure yourself that you're hearing from the voice of God, that you know who you are from the voice of God. Go to, or write it down, it's real easy, Ephesians 1 and 2. I, I challenge you to camp out there, okay? I'm looking up for some things here. Camp out on the what God's saying to you. Camp out in the words and the declarations that God's given you. Romans 4, verse 18. I want to share just this verse. I was telling you, I was getting so excited about aligning myself, staying in my own lane, okay? I'm not going to talk about politics. Stay in your own lane and speak truth from that lane. Romans 4, verse 18. Against all odds, when it looked hopeless, Abraham believed the promise and expected God to fulfill. He, he, he took God at his word, and as a result, he became the father of many nations. So you don't stuff what you're feeling. Go ahead and experience it. Pull it out and be present. Don't dig it. This doesn't feel good. I am really concerned. I don't know what's going on as far as your faith and your emotions and everything. But I do know God's promises. 
He will never leave me nor forsake me. He's promised me that I will, uh, Jeremiah 33, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. That you can say, wait a minute, I, I don't know if I know it, and I can hear the voice of God. Where God says his eyes roam to and fro throughout the earth to strongly support those who are his. Just verse, that the secret things of the Lord are revealed to his prophets, to his people. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. So I just want to encourage you that God is looking for you and he's near to those who are brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. So if you're feeling that, know that God is near. I love the word of God. It's just coming alive. Psalm 31, verse 24. So cheer up. It's like, okay, God, I'm not feeling. I, I remember I was drinking my coffee, trying to sort my own emotions out. And, and God, Psalm 31, cheer up. Take courage, all you who love him. I love him. So he's telling me to cheer up and take courage. Wait for him to break through for you, all you who trust in him. So God, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to believe this is a new season. This is a new day. Then Psalm 51, verse 8. I love this. Satisfy me in your sweetness and my song of joy will return. I don't know about you, but I've had to battle for my joy. The only place I know to battle is to continue in the word and worship. Satisfy me in your sweetness and my song of joy will return. The places within me you have crushed will rejoice in your healing touch. Maybe you're feeling crushed, not just by what's going on, but maybe you're in a family situation. Maybe you're in a marriage situation and you feel crushed. I feel like God's just rising up and saying, hey, I have great plans for you. I feel like God's saying that to someone. I have great plans for you. My phone's blowing up. And then how about this? How about just the, the fact that God has assigned you with your voice as a warrior to speak forth and to make declarations. I believe when we make declarations, I believe the angels are so quick there to run with it. I love this Proverbs 21, verse 21. Let's see if I can see it. A warrior filled with wisdom ascends into the high places and releases regional breakthrough, bringing down the strongholds of the mighty. Proverbs 21, verse 22. Proverbs 21, verse 22. And finally, if I can find it, if I can think about it, I have to go to my phone. Dave and I, my husband's Dave, we were sitting around saying, what, what, do, what do we do? Where do we go now? And he, he mentioned us some scripture that are his favorites. And I thought, wow, that is so fitting. I don't know if I can get there. That is so good. And it's from, oh, wow, Proverbs. Are you going to hang in with me and figure this, as I figure this out? Mm -hmm. It's Proverbs. Oh, wait, I got to share this one. I haven't found it. I just love sharing the word of God because it's not my word, it's God's word. And I just know within the context of someone listening live or recorded that God may speak to them. Listen to this. Someone needs this one. The character of God is a tower of strength for the lovers of God. Delight to run into his heart and be exalted on high. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. So does that help? I'm just trying to find these words that my husband was sharing this morning from the word of God that I think is so fitting for you, so fitting for now, so fitting for what we're facing. You may say, what do you mean what are we facing? I'm feeling pretty good. Praise God. Some of us are not looking at the presidency as of Trump versus Biden, but we're looking for the future of our friends versus the Democrat, uh, Democrat, democracy of our country. And whether that's the, the heart. I don't find it, so praise the Lord. Ooh, I know where to find it now. Can I read this to you just as I just share some time with you, live or recorded, just spending some time with you. It's Proverbs 8. Sorry. Can I, can I share this with you from Proverbs 8? I found it. I just want to share some of this. This is so fitting for today. Thank you for being patient. Listen to this. Proverbs 8, verse 14. I'm going to end with these words because I think there are words for you. They're not my words. I'm rising up just like you, making declarations, finding that place of peace and trust. My place has been in the promises of God based on 
Hebrews 4, 11, 11. You can find that out in the latest Kingdom Into podcast. The last two episodes of where God's telling me, Teresa, release a rest to run. Listen to this, Proverbs 8, verse 14. You will find true success when you find me. For I have insight into wise plans that are designed just for you. I hold in my living hands understanding, courage, and strength. And listen to this. This is God. I mean, is God surprised? I don't think so. I empower kings to reign and rulers to make laws that are just. I empower princes to rise and take dominion and generous ones to govern the earth. Listen to this. Verse 17, the Passion, Romans, Proverbs 8. I will show my love to those who passionately love me, for they will search and search continually until they find me. Unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. The riches of righteousness and a long, satisfying laugh will be given to them. What I impart, this is God speaking to you, what I impart has greater worth than gold and treasure, and the increase I bring benefits more than a windfall of income. I lead you into the ways of righteousness. Discover the paths of true justice. Those who love me again gain great wealth and a glorious inheritance, and I'll fuel their lives with treasure. So I believe that you can rise up in your identity and take authority from that identity, your authority resting in the promises of God, which are yes and amen. You can tap into his faithfulness by making declarations. You can be like Abraham, who even though saw the great promise, he clung to it. He grabbed it. He said, that is mine. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to walk in it. And you can say, When it's all said and done, for I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. In the life I live in the flesh, flesh, all the stuff going on, flesh, I will live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and delivered himself up for me. That's my prayer for you, is the word of God. Do not shake, do not doubt. Rise up in the midst of all of that. Worship him. Raise your worship. Don't lose your joy, friend. Rise up. There is good reason to hope. There's no doom or gloom in the room because Jesus is in the room. Make those declarations. Ask God to speak on where you can move. This is going to be a great year as you rest to run in the promises of God. You're going to rest and embrace, not to suck the yuck. You're going to embrace the miracle working power of God. I love you and I believe in you. Your voice is powerful. If you want to have someone speak into your life an identity blueprint it's ikingsmedia.com forward slash blueprint ikingsmedia.com forward slash blueprint a resource for you because i believe in you you have a voice someone needs that voice even and even maybe even more your voice is powerful you can redeem your voice from the place of repair restore and rebuild based on amos 9 verse 11 and you can go forward and like i just see some of you like patriots like warriors warriors in your words in your declaration and by your faith the future books are going to have chapters with your name in them and how you faced the trials of today and rose up and got miracle working power i believe in you i'll talk to you in the next meeting in the next video take heart friend take heart